Hi guys, back on another trip, just off to the uh, motorbike garage. Got a trip in two weeks time and we're going to be doing probably just under 2,000 miles in about a week and a half. Leaving the uh, south of England, going up to Scotland. No, we're not doing the North Coast 500, we did that last year. But we're going to be starting off in uh, Falkirk, up to Stirling, over to Glencoe, up over to Skye, up to Applecross, back over the other side, have a detour up to um, Aberdeen area, Inverurie, round there, and then we're going to be stopping there for a day or two, and then what we're going to be doing is travelling back, all the way back down here. It's going to be fun, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to meet um, a couple of guys up at the uh, Kawasaki uh, dealership in Greenham, next to Newbury. And what we're going to do is we've got the uh, guys just having a look over our bikes, making sure the chain is nice and tight, any oils need to be chopped up. Just basically a peace of mind ready for the uh, trip in about a week and a half's time. Really looking forward to it. So just getting prepared, um, just ready for a trip really. I've got the uh, drift microphone plugged in into my helmet. So I'm just playing around with that today and just seeing if I can get better sound on it. Hopefully less noise reduction in the background. Fitted um, heated grips, the Oxford heated grips to my bike yesterday. Bought as a little present. So I put put them on my handlebars. All I have to do is just wire the, wire the um, wiring looms up to each other and to the battery. Haven't got it wired up at the moment because I got home from work and I've got to go straight up the garage. And hopefully, fingers crossed, he might do it for me if I'm lucky. Oh, better slow down. Come on my friend, that's it. As you may or may not have seen on my uh, last video about clean cleaning the exhaust pipes with Harpic, my little boy wanted to have a go at YouTube videos and um, I thought well I'll give him a little go. I'm learning, he can learn at the same time. So what I'm going to do is um, have a chat with him, see if he wants to do some more videos and if he does then we can pick him up on his speech. Um, and everything else, just trying to get him better and really the upbringing what anybody would do. Go, going back to the uh, Oxford heated grips, I've got the uh, sports um, grips as I've got a sports bike and not much difference in it really a little bit thicker I would say at the moment but we're pretty comfortable so hopefully they'll be alright on the, on the trip and of course if it gets too cold I can whack them on and test them out 
I've done quite a few things to my bike, but all little bits. So I put a uh, fender extender on the front mud guard. I've also put bullet lights onto the front of my bike. I've got a USB port underneath my seat, which I've fitted myself. I've also got little RNG covers, as you can see, on each side of my um, bike. And also, what I have done is I've got a uh, top box, which I use when I go touring, or, of course, if I need to pop to a shop and um, get anything from the shops. So, what I've done there is I've um, put some LED strip lights in where the uh, reflectors are. I've wired them up to my bike so every time I brake not only does my normal brake light come on the brake lights the LEDs come on and act as brake lights in my top box which is a brilliant idea. I take my top box on and off so it's wired up to the uh, back light the wire is underneath my seat, out of the way, all waterproof and dry. And whenever I put the top box on, all I have to do is pull it out the back of the seat, underneath the top box plate, and I've drilled a little hole through the plastic and put a little rubber grommet in there. So I push it through a little rubber grommet, straight up into my top box where I've drilled a little hole in the bottom of it, and I've got a connector there. So then I'll connect it up. This weekend what I'll be doing is I've got my little boy. So I'm going to polish up the bike, get it all ready, make sure everything's working. For example, like the lights in the, uh, the brake lights in the top box. Make sure the heated grips are working fine. Um, just a peace of mind thing really get it all ready for a trip. Isn't it annoying when you've got an itch and you can't itch your face when you're riding a bike? Oh well, here goes. It's too annoying. Prepare for a noise wind. Oh, that was a lot better. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some videos together of the trip when we go up. Put all the different clips together, photos together, do basically do the best I, I can. As I mentioned before, I'm not a professional at this stuff, but I'm doing it as a bit of fun and hopefully uh, some of my videos might inspire or might help some people along the line. So yeah, it's all, it's all a bit of fun and it's all good. So yeah, going back again to the heated grips, they're pretty easy to fit, to be honest with you. Most most people with um, electrical knowledge uh, or give it a go can probably do it. All I say is if you're not quite sure, don't attempt to get a professional to do it. But all you do is take off the uh, bar ends, either side of your handlebars, for example, my bar ends are here. And on the right, that one there, end of my handlebars with an Allen key. So I just unscrewed the Allen key, took them off, 
with the Allen bolt with the Allen key, took them off. When I took them off, it's pretty hard, but I put a screwdriver underneath my, um, should I say, my rubber um, bars, handles. So I put a bit of rubber, put a screwdriver underneath there, just broke some of the glue, the seal. And then what I did is I just, it's pretty hard, but you pull off the, um, you pull off the um, rubber bits. Once you pull it off, test the new ones first, put them on. Once you put them on, and they're all tested and working, put a load of glue on them, then push them on. Just make sure you don't push them right up to there, or there, because you need a gap. Make sure your um, bar ends are close together, because that supports the bar ends as well. As you can see, you've got a wire there, a wire there, and that's my main wire. So it's all simple plugs. Once you plug them all in, then all you do is do that up to the battery, and that's it connected. Right, guys, just going to turn you off for a minute because I've just got to go and get some money out. But I'll speak to you guys in a minute. Hi, right, guys, back again. Just had to go and get some cash out. Right, make sure my wires are tucked up out of the way because hopefully I'll get the guys there to quickly plug them in. If not, I'll come home and do it myself. Right. garage is a bit dangerous as you've got two ways in and out or oh, that's how most people do it at this garage as soon as I can find a scap after a black car a few more checks and off we go The Star Inn, nice little uh, country pub and it, it does uh, food and drink and um, it's quite a nice little place, been there a couple of times and uh, looking forward to going back there. So yeah, I've um, improved on my videos a little bit, not much. <laughs> But I've improved a little bit. I've managed to put a little uh, icon in the corner of the videos. Um, it's got please subscribe, like and share. I hope you don't mind to do that. My little boy will be impressed and um, it helps me out as well, of course. So you can click on that and um, hopefully it will just uh, like, like my uh, page. So I managed to do that and I'm gonna start looking at what they call thumbnails basically every time uh, you see a video I'll have writing on it now instead of just a plain video so when you see the picture it will have wording on it I'm not quite sure if I do different pictures with different wording for each video or I'll just have one standard um, one standard picture with different writing on it that might be easier for me to do at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to start looking at that um, fairly soon. So I hope this microphone's doing quite well. Um, if not, I'll move it up a little bit and try another video that way. Nice indicating, plenty of time. As you know, I like some numpties. 
they'll stand on their brakes and indicate and you've got to stand your brakes on look at all these potholes here loads of them straight through the middle that's another video I'm going to be doing as well about potholes um, I'll do that one fairly soon because I just want to get it out of the way tells you where you stand what to do um, how to deal with your with the authorities uh, to deal with potholes if you want to claim One thing I haven't mentioned um, about what I've attached onto a bike, the little modifications. I've also put bar visor on here. Bit of a washer in there, brings them up about an inch with a metal plate. Oh, better slow down a bit. They've got a silver plates, just two caps. I have done a video on that as well. Um, fairly forward under the two allen keys allen bolts with your allen keys take them off the whole bit put your washer on put them back on and put a bit of washing up liquid around the um, around the outside and then just tap them down gently there has been one comment of somebody saying oh they won't come out uh, can I do a video I haven't done a video but what I have done the other day I took them out just to see how tight they are and we have a bit snug in there but as long as you put a bit of washing up liquid around the outside they pretty much slide out with a bit of little bit of force right going into um, Greenham for the Kawasaki garage this is where I'm going to go and let the guys do their magic on my bike and then have a nice coffee while I'm waiting so cheers for listening guys and I'll catch you next time